It's Parsha Parsha time. It's Parsha Parsha time. It's Parsha 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 time. It's Parsha Parsha time. It's Parsha Parsha time. It's Parsha 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 time. The Parsha von die Wacht is Baha Aleischa, Baha Aleischa, Baha Aleischa. The Parsha von die Wacht is Baha Aleischa, Baha Aleischa is the Parsha von die Wacht. The Parsha of this week is Baha Aleischa, Baha Aleischa, Baha Aleischa. The Parsha of this week is Baha Aleischa, Baha Aleischa is the Parsha of the week. And just to talk about the word, Baha'aleischa is, and when you, when it lights up, when you light it up. And what obviously we're talking about, we're lighting up. We talked about in the other Parsha video that Aharon got a special job that later on went to other Kahanim, but in Aaron's lifetime, only Aharon did it. And that was to light the Menorah. And he didn't just light it and walk away. Each wick had to be lit and he couldn't let go of that wick and move on to the next wick until the fire was going up and burning bright and big on its own and then we talked about how the Levium started their jobs now we're going to talk about something very interesting that happens in this week's Parsha when B'nai Yisrael left Mitzrayim at one point they complained to Misha. The Yidin the Bnei Israel did a lot of complaining in the Midbar, a lot. And they complained that they want food. They don't have food. So Hashem said, okay, I'm going to send you food. And he sent something special that would rain down from Shemayim at night. And when they would come out of their tents in the morning, they would go and collect it. And some of our Chachamim say it tasted like whatever they wanted. And all they had to do was go out, collect it, bring it home, prepare it how they want it, and eat it. This food, do you remember what it's called? Did you say it's called the man? You're right. It's called the man. And the man had a special bracha. What bracha do we say on bread and challah? You're right. We say hamaitzi, lechem min haaretz. On the man, they also said Hamaitzi, but the ending was different. They didn't say Hamaitzi Lechem in Haaretz. Thank you, Hashem, for bread from the earth. They said Hamaitzi Lechem Min Hashemayim. Thank you, Hashem, for this bread from that comes from the heaven. And so the Yitin became used to, Bnei Israel became used to eating this man, this bread. But it was too perfect for them. For example, when we, you and I eat food, we have to go to the bathroom because our body breaks up the food and then whatever's left that our body can't have, that doesn't go around, we have to go to the bathroom. In the Midbar, they never, ever, ever had to go to the bathroom. Could you believe it? Isn't that amazing? But our Chachamim said that was a little too much for them. And one day, they complained to Moshe. We want to go back to Mitzrayim. Wow. We want to go back to Mitzrayim. Moshe, we want to go back to Mitzrayim. Why would they want to go back to Mitzrayim? They wanted to go back to Mitzrayim because they said, we in Mitzrayim, we had watermelon. And in Mitzrayim, we had squash. And fish. And we had leeks and garlic. And all this yummy food. And we can't have this in our in the mun. And that's right. The mun, according to some of our chachamim, did not taste like those foods because it wasn't good for everybody. For example, the mommy that nurses, she it wasn't good for the baby because everything a mommy eats goes into the milk. So some of our chachamim say that therefore the mun couldn't taste like that. But they were complaining instead of being thankful to Hashem. In the end, they got meat because B'nai Israel said, we want meat. And in the end, Hashem sent some birds called the Slav. And 
the story doesn't end happily. But when you finish this video, I want you to do the activity you did on Monday. You're going to do it again. You're going to pick out foods that you find in your kitchen that you want to try. Mommy is going to blindfold you or somebody else will blindfold you and you'll taste each food and you have to guess which food was put into your mouth and I remember to say a bracha actually and hopefully you guess the right food 